Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. Today we have the first in a uh, new unit, which is trigonometry. Now you can see me shifting the title over as we speak, that's all right. Uh, we are going to be using the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle. It is the um, a side across from the right angle. Um, so this right here is our hypotenuse and it is often denoted in these problems as C. Let's get right into it. We're gonna use our calculator in this unit a lot, so it's going to be free to use. So we have this triangle, 7.1 on the bottom, 11.3 on that side, and we're looking for the hypotenuse C. And our equation that we always use is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but this is the Pythagorean theorem equation. That's what we're going to use. So this side could be labeled as a, this side as b, and then our longest side across from the right angle triangle is c. So when we're looking for c, we are going to square both of these, add them together, and square root them, because c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So you can see with decimals, this will get a little bit complicated. We can use our calculator. So c is then equal to, a is 11.3, and b we said was 7.1. So we're gonna do this step by step. We're gonna write out everything as we go. So we have 11.3, didn't do the point, 11.3 multiplied by 11.3. That equals 127.69. So C is equal to the root 127.69, 7.1 times 7.1, that's 50.41. We're gonna go ahead and add these together. C is equal to the root of 50.41 plus 127.69 plus 178.1. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna square root that in our last step, step, so we hit the square root button. It might be different on your calculator, please double check. But we square root to that to get 13.3. So C is equal to 13.3. And it's important that we just kind of check to see if that makes sense. It's going to be the longest side. Uh, it should be longer than 11.3 and 7.1, and it is. So that makes kind of some sense for an answer. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. We have our right angle, 1.4 for this side and 3.6 for this side. We're gonna go ahead and label C, and then either one, this can be A and this can be B. So our equation, when we're trying to find out what C is, is C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. C is equal to the root, we're gonna go ahead and plug that in, so 1.4 squared plus 3.6 squared. Let's do this in our calculator. C is equal to the root, what's 1.4 squared? 1.96, and then 3.6 squared, 12.96, we're going to go ahead and add those together. And then take the square root of those. So C is equal to the square root. That's 3.8, we'll say 8.6. Not too worried about how many decimal places we use. One or two is fine. And again, that's longer than both of these. So that makes sense. It's just longer than that, but it's longer. So we are all right with it. Let's do the last one. It's going to be the same. This one we're only dealing with the hypotenuse, so we're only finding C. 7.1 and 6.1. C is the longest side across from the right angle. This can be A and this can be B. 
c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So c is equal to the square root of 6.1 squared plus 7.7 .7 squared. c is equal to the root, what, 6.1 times 6.1. Thirty-seven point two one. We're gonna add it to the other one, which is seven point seven squared. Multiply that by itself twice. That's fifty-nine point two nine. Go ahead and add them together. So plus thirty-seven point two one. That's ninety-six point five. And it's really important that we go through all these steps and we try to just punch everything into our calculator. Our calculator is going to be confused about what we want it to do. It's gonna do what it's asked, but I can almost guarantee that we are not going to ask it to do what we want. So just do it step by step and write everything down as you go. But this is 9.9 .9 longer than the other two. It does make sense to me. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you have questions about how to find the hypotenuse using Pythagorean's theorem, please let me know. Let's see you soon.